Hey there, Alan Matthews here, and in this video we will be looking at the question, how do you clap and count eighth notes in your music? Let's dive right in. So whenever we have eighth notes in music, that's these with the, with the flags, they're oftentimes barred together, but it might be just one with a little flag off to the side like that as well, stem up or stem down, um, like that. Um, either way you find it, this is how to clap them and count them. On the beat, one, two, three, and they're usually barred. They're usually barred together um, according to the beats. So the downbeat gets the number one, two, three. These would be quarter notes. And then the offbeat gets the word and one and two and three. And. So that's how to clap and count uh, steady eighth notes. Now, but they rarely happen, or they do, but it's not all the time. We have mixed rhythms, quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes, all mixed together. So the first thing to do then is to continue counting throughout with whatever the smallest thing. So if you have eighth notes and that's the smallest note, then continue to count eighth notes even when you don't have eighth notes. So like right here, you have quarter notes, you'd still count one and two and three and one and two and three. And that keeps that little, that underlying pulse, duh, 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 that keeps that steady and it makes it easier to place that one instead of picking these notes one, two, three, like where does where do you actually play that? Instead, the smaller note division called the subdivision will make it to where it really keeps things organized. So once we have then this mixed bunch of notes, we have eighth notes, but we also have quarter note, also have we continue to count, so we keep counting. We clap the top and we count aloud with the bottom. And then we can know which ones are going to be the rhythm. So here we have one and two and three and four and. Your mouth, and it's really nice to make it very articulate instead of one and two and three and four. It's nice to have a very sharp, this is where the beat is. One and two and make it a spike instead of a um, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's the rhythm then you can remember to help your memory oh it's on the one the two and three one two and three and that will help you to remember where they are and also help you figure figure out where it is what you can also do when you need to to figure this out is just to add them all in so when you have a quarter note what you can do then is right in eighth notes above it and then we have these that's an eighth note and then these eighth notes and then this has four of them so now you have all of the eighth notes written in and that's all of your one and two and three and four and and then you can figure out where the actual notes fall and this is the same thing we could have just looked down here too um, so one two and three and I like to say them loud and quiet. So the ones that are actually written on the page that I'm gonna clap, say them loud. And then the ones that are just in between, like the and of one here, say it quietly. So one and two and three and four and something like that. And so then that will enable you to really say with your, with your breath and your being so that you really know it. These are the notes with the actual rhythm and the rest is just keeping time. All right, I hope this has helped you counting and clapping your eighth notes. Have fun and good luck. Please subscribe to this channel.